Pyramid offers a fully integrated suite of products for on-site treatment of medical waste. Our System 70 Medical Waste Processor has a 70-liter waste capacity and treats up to 15 kilograms of waste per cycle. This system simultaneously shreds and disinfects medical waste, converting it to ordinary trash in less than 20 minutes. The System 70 can process both waste bags and several sharps containers concurrently. After the end of the automated waste treatment cycle, the shredded waste can be discarded as ordinary trash at the healthcare facility. The System 70 is capable of treating the waste of a 200-bed hospital in a single eight-hour shift of operation.
Our System 15 medical waste processor has a 15 liter waste capacity and treats up to 8 kilograms of waste per cycle. This system shreds and disinfects medical waste, converting it to ordinary trash in less than 15 minutes. The System 15 can process either a single waste bag or a two gallon sharps container during a treatment cycle. The System 15 is capable of treating the waste of a 50-bed hospital in a single eight-hour shift of operation. Both the System 15 and System 70 utilize our unique environmentally friendly disinfectant called Stersid. Stersid is a biodegradable disinfectant that provides log 6 performance in just 15 minutes at a concentration of only 0.5%. Stersid is a unique formulation created by combining several low concentration disinfectants, which work together to perform like a single high concentration disinfectant a process known as synergistic amplification. Stersid is also EPA registered to provide you with an assurance that this disinfectant is safe for both the operating staff as well as the environment. Stersid is approved for direct discharge to a facility's drain without pretreatment or neutralization. Call us today to explore how you can take advantage of our powerful technology at your healthcare facility. Blue Mountain Hospital um, opened in 2009 as a critical access hospital and uh, it is now Joint Commission accredited. Um, it serves the population of about 14,500 people that come from, in from the reservation that serve by our clinic system and uh, another four to 5,000 who live in the community of Landy. The facility is uh, located in the southeastern corner of the state of Utah near the Blue Mountains to the north and about 90 miles from Lake Powell, about 75 miles from the Monument Valley area with the monoliths and Forest Gump Hill. We have 11 beds. It provides um, lab, x-ray, uh, radiology, full radiology with MRI and CAT scans, emergency room services. It is the closest available emergency service for 14,000 people. It also has renal dialysis and this was a significant service because our people were having to travel so they would be gone for 12 hours a day every other day and they are able to come and receive it in three and a half hours and be home in four hours so they have a life again. Here at Blue Mountain Hospital, we generate roughly a thousand pounds a month in biomedical waste. Um, mainly in our dialysis department, we generate uh, with our dialyzers, our dialysis tubing, syringes, needles, etc. Um, we also generate 
um, a lot of bloodborne uh, pathogen medical waste through our laboratory department. And through our labor and delivery department, we generate a little bit of human waste that we also uh, can put through this machine. Um, we also accept biomedical waste from outside entities, such as our surrounding clinics here in Blanding, Utah, and uh, from the Southern Reservation in Utah. And they generate roughly 400 to 500 pounds per month. Between the two uh, entities, the clinics and, and Blue Mountain Hospital, we generate roughly 20,000 pounds per year. When Blue Mountain Hospital first opened, we generated our waste and stored it here on site and every five or six days it would be picked up by a local transporter and transported to another facility for incineration. So they did a lot of investigation and, and the Steramed system just made so much more sense. And I did a calculation over the next 10 years, roughly $100,000 to $125,000 in savings. Also we looked at the risk management factor. Operating the Steramed machine is pretty simple. It's as simple as opening a door, putting in the biomedical waste, closing it and pushing the button to start it, and the rest is taken care of by the machine itself. The waste that we put into the Steramed machine is essentially ground up, sterilized, goes onto a conveyor belt into a trash receptacle, and from there we take it into our uh, hospital receptacle, and from there it's hauled away. There's just no comparison. So this was a significant savings to a small critical access hospital that needed, in the end, to save all the money they could. We hear a lot these days about businesses going green. Now one San Antonio kidney dialysis clinic is cleaning up its act with a machine that saves space and the impact on the environment. Here's Ken's Foss' Wendy Rigby with a story all new at five. It's a life-saving procedure that takes place thousands of times each week in San Antonio. Patients have their blood cleaned by a machine that acts as an artificial kidney. The procedure is crucial. It takes lots of time and it also uses lots of plastic materials. Yards of tubing and filters that immediately become medical waste. Waste that piles up in boxes and has to be hauled away at a steep price. Now the Kidney Treatment Center on South New Braunfels is using a new method, a shredding and sterilization system that turns potentially toxic waste into harmless trash. It's a technology that uh, decreases the amount of environmental waste that's potentially toxic and hazardous. In a process that takes only 15 minutes, a machine called SteriMed chomps up the used plastic, then sprays on a chemical to disinfect it. The result is a material that can be safely trashed, and amazingly, it takes up 90% less space. It's great. I mean, it's doing uh, the right thing, uh, not just in the, in the treatment of patients, but in the management of, uh, of our little part in what happens to our country and the universe. With less to pay for medical waste disposal, the Kidney Treatment Center says this new technology should pay for itself in about two years.